Aloha, this is Moses. Aloha. And I'm here to share an experience he just had. That's pretty cool. We would really try to teach our kids to be generous, to be giving. In fact, if we give them 10 bucks or 20 bucks and they want to give it away that day, we encourage them if they want to do that. I mean, we encourage them to be wise with it and be led. But at the end of the day, it's up to them what they want to do. If they have toys, whatever their possession, if they want to give it away, we never micromanage them or said you can't give it away. They learned very um, at an um, early age when you give something away, you don't get it back. And sometimes there's crying and whining and complaining about it, but then sometimes um, it was a great experience and they actually now understand that. I wanna share what happened, um, when was it? We, a couple days ago or a day ago, you gave, you gave, you gave something? Go ahead, explain, tell them what you did. So, a, a couple days ago, um, we um, were at this ice cream place called Frost and I gave this lady my money. How much did you give them? I, I gave her $10. $10, and he was really excited because you found that $10 in your pocket, right? You didn't even know you had it. So he had it um, kind of tucked away in his pocket and he put his hand in his pocket and he said, oh, I have $10. And he wanted to buy toys with it or buy something with it. So you're really saving it for an opportunity to buy something that you want, right? And yeah. then you experienced something and you felt led to give it to a girl at Frost, right? And then, um, when, um, and then I was helping the lawnmower guys today. So hold on. So this is another day. So he gave that, she gave, he gave that money. He was kind of a little sad. He kind of understood and didn't. And we said, Hey, God's going to take care of you. You know, if you give generously, then God will, uh, will not pay you back. I don't like saying that pay you back more so like give it back so that you can give more or be blessed or steward it wise, whatever it is. It's more like God will give you more if you start being generous. So this is another day, this is yeah. today, and we have lawn servers every Tuesday, every other Tuesday, and this is what experience. So now today, I was helping um, the lawnmower guys because we were lawnmowering the yard. Um, and at the end, when I was turning the water off over there, um, one of the lawnmower guys, he gave me $10. So I got $5 and all the rest Well, they can't ones. see it. So here's here's a $5 bill. And then here are... The $1. So I got $10 back. But it doesn't look like $10 because it's just not what, a little dollar like It's not this. a dollar bill, like $10 bill? Yeah, it's not a $10 bill. It's like dollars, but it makes $10. That's right. And so Moses, you help him out. Every time he comes here, you help him. You don't ask for anything, right? You, he gets the, the, the big palm trees that come. He takes them to the front. Uh, he just loves helping them out. And then um, just today, I guess the uh, lawn service guy, uh, his name's Ryan, just decided to feel impressed to give him $10. And so isn't that cool how God oftentimes will co-labor with us to give? And we, you give generously and openly. And it's not promised that he's going to give you $10 back, right? I mean, but this is just one of those times where he gets $10 back. And that guy never did that. We lived here now for four months and never felt pressed to give him $10. And I'm sure the Holy Spirit said, hey, give Moses $10. And then, bam, you got it back. So isn't that an awesome experience, Moses? Yeah. What would you learn? That when I give something away, God will always provide something else. That's right. Well, good job, Moses. I love that experience. Thank you for sharing with the world. Tell them aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Punch me. Isn't that cool story about Moses giving and seeing experience to just trust and, and feel led, right? Whether you're Christian or not, it doesn't matter. Just be generous, right? There's so much need out there. And of course, we can't fulfill all the problems with money, right? If you gave everyone a million dollars right now, do you really think it's going to solve all the world problems? Probably not. But for that person yesterday, Moses has no idea why he felt led to give. It could have been she had a struggling and like thinking about, man, how am I gonna get home? I have no gas money. Or man, I'm $10 short. Or whatever reason, how am I gonna eat lunch? Whatever reason, he doesn't know. And that's between her and whoever. And if she wants to share that, awesome. But he felt led to give her $10. And a little 
six-year-old felt led, right? And look what happened. And it's not always that you're going to get something back, right? We don't ever give to get back, right? Maybe we get back a, a, fulfilling, a fulfillment or joy, and that's okay. But not always are you going to get money, right? It's not always. It could be a revelation or a deeper understanding or something else of better value than sometimes money right and so i just want to encourage you guys to just be generous you never know who's in need no matter how small the amount right ten dollars that really going to change someone's life it could um it could be a hundred dollars it could be a thousand dollars it doesn't matter so i hope this kind of challenges you in a little bit and encourages you that if you are in need or want to bless other people to go ahead man go sow good seed right if you plant a seed it's going to grow out fruit and so Go have fun, give, be generous. Be sure to like and share this video to who you think needs to hear this message. God bless you. Aloha.